Representative Sonia Williams Barnes. Ms. Barnes is the daughter of the first kindergarten teacher in Mississippi. Representative Sonia Williams Barnes represents the Gulfport region of the Gulf Coast. Since arriving in the legislature in 2012, Williams Barnes has championed early education issues and sponsored the legislation to require all five-year-olds to attend kindergarten. Representative Williams Barnes' passion for kindergarten comes from home, from her own mother, Rosemary Hayes Williams. Representative Williams Barnes learned that kindergarten increases diplomas for kids as we like to call her legislation. Representative Williams Barnes will talk about kindergartens where they learn important social and grade ready skills that create a formidable foundation for lifelong learning. Representative Sonia Williams Barnes. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you all coming out today and truly exemplifies your interest in our children and um, the success of education in our state. As it was stated, my mother was the first pilot kindergarten teacher in the state of Mississippi. And it was in 1976 in the school district of Past Christian Public Schools where she was chosen by the governor to be the first um, kindergarten teacher. And over her 33 and a half years as an educator, she always accredited much of the success of her children, of her students, as she always called them, to, um, to early education. And for that reason, and many others, I am a strong advocate for early education. And I have since my early in the legislature to encourage um, kindergarten compulsory school age age five versus what we currently have at age six. Um, studies have shown that kindergarten is imperative to the success of children. Um, it also shows that children who are in a full-time uh, kindergarten score higher on tests in third, fifth, and seventh grades than children who were not in a full-time kindergarten. And Mississippi has adopted the common core of our districts around the state, and my, my district has common core already in place. And as soon as spring of 2015, our students will be beginning to be assessed through common core, and they will be assessed K through 12, not 1 through 12. And for that reason, we need to make sure that our children are, that it's mandatory that our children go to school at age five. Um, if we can't say that we want them to do well and read at age eight in third grade and not start them early. Um, I mean, it's just, it's, it's common sense to me um, that, that we do it. I have read a lot and, and done a lot of, you know, studying <coughs> that, and it all shows that, you know, kindergarten is imperative to the success of many of our students. And when talking to the State Department of Education, and when speaking of the cost that it would take for us to mandate that kindergarten um, is mandatory, um, right now, somewhere between 95 to 98 percent of all students age five are in some form of kindergarten. So with that being said, it's not going to cost the state much. But when we speak of cost and you know everything kind of the end result is money, but the dollar amount, I feel that education that kindergarten is imperative and it's imperative to the economical success of our state. Education is the sharpest tool in the box to increase economical development. It's time for Mississippi to invest on the front end, and we will reap the benefits on the back end. Because if we encourage education, if we get and put our money behind education, it increases our workforce, 
it increases uh, economical stability, and it also increases us being progressive and a more competitive state in the nation. So I know that you all in this room are two sharpers. You all have invested in our children, and I ask that you continue to sharpen our tools and encourage others to do the same. Because as I always say, education is the sharpest tool in the box at the of the world. Thank you so much for having me here today, and please continue your effort.